Hello everybody, DBG Subzara here and welcome to my first Let's Play. Uh, I am going to be doing a 108 character run of the game Sukaden from the PlayStation 1. And without further ado, let's get into the game. Naturally, we are going to be calling our hero Seb, because that's what all heroes are called. And we're home, and this is Gremio, the servant of the family. Okay, we have three choices of what we can do here now. We can go out into the world and uh, start leveling up solo, where, which uh, can level you up very quickly, because uh, experience in this game, it's uh, split between the entire party, and it's also proportional to your level. The higher your level, the less experience you get from a fight. The second option is to meet up with Ted, and then the pair of you can go into the um, onto the world map and start leveling up, which is what we're going to do. And the third option is you can just continue the story, meet up with everybody, and then go meet Commander Craze and get given your first mission. The reason we are going to be meeting up with Ted, uh, there's in option one and option two you can uh, sort of like bypass a lot of the story and go like three times ahead and you can get given an item which will make uh, certain parts of the game a lot easier one of them is the champion's rune which uh, stops low level monsters attacking you on the random encounters and the second one is the fortune rune which gives you double money from fights i believe we're going to get the fortune rune because we're going as two people if we went just as the main character on our own we would get the champion rune but that's got a much higher chance of failing because basically the monsters are about level 10 to 12 the general level you should be when you get to this place um and grinding as one person it means you are going to get killed and lose progress a lot so we are going to go and meet ted and here he is if you if you go to your room at this point the story progresses so don't go to the room go outside check on the phones i've got about 1500 bits so we're going to get some defense because ted's defense absolutely sucks and we need him to stay alive as long as possible so we're gonna get two headbands and we're gonna get two pairs of wooden shoes for Ted, because apparently you can wear two sets of shoes. Now, we are going to be uh, using a little bit of a glitch very early game to get four pairs of these wing boots. At the moment, as you can see, though, we cannot afford them. Uh, but we're going to be using a, uh, a money gain glitch to uh, get them. And as you can already tell as well, um, Inventory space is at a premium in this game. There's 
each character can't hold up to, um, I think it's 10 items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, each character can hold up to seven items, but you can very quickly fill those up. So you need to be managing your inventory. Right, so he's got a medicine, he's got a medicine. Right. And we are also going to go and save our game. Because what we're about to do is tantamount to suicide. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the recording and come back when I'm about level 6 or 7. So, for you it will be a matter of seconds, for me it will be considerably longer. So, I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Now, the first thing we are going to do is make our way east to the next town of Rockland. Uh, hopefully I'll get into at least one fight along the way. Okay, so we didn't get to uh, to show off the combat. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save my game, and then I'm going to show you the uh, the early game money glitch, and it involves the character who we just saw on the right, uh, just outside the inn here, and what it uh, what it basically is is uh, sort of like a find the coin game underneath uh, the cups. I'll show you. <clears throat> right, now, what the basis of this game is, is he moves the, the cups around and you have to find the coin underneath it. And you can bet either 100, 1000 or 10,000 bits. And each... Um, additional cost makes the game uh, makes the game faster however you can play the game leave town come back in and it will always be in the same sequence while he is in this town and uh, what so what that means is you can play the game like five times at 100 bits knock down the sequence leave the town come back in, play play the game five times at a thousand bits and it will be in exactly the same sequence and that is how we are going to be getting a shitload of money in the first part of this game because we're going to need it to upgrade our weaponry, upgrade our defence and we also need to buy some other items. So, for now, let's go. I don't know if it changes every time for the actual sequence, but the last time I played this game, it was left, left, right, middle. So let's play it with 100 bits. <clears throat> okay, so it's on the left. again. And it is on the left again. We will bet a hundred again. Right, 
and this time it is on the right. It's on the left again. So that's left, left, right, left. I'm going to do this two more times. left, left, right, left, right. And for game number six, let's see where it ends up. Okay. Left, right, right, left, right, right. Okay. <clears throat> right, now we're going to leave the town. Go back in, talk to him again, and do that with thousands. faster this time. But the sequence will be exactly the same. for the left. And then the next two will be on the right. See, this is a very easy early game profit, but it is much needed. As, um, you can have a maximum of um, 999,999 coins in this game, but you need um, probably in the region of about 70 or 80 million to make sure everybody's weapons get uh, upgraded to max and things later on in the game. So the sooner you can start gaining money, the better.
So, we're going to go back in. We're going to do that a couple more times with the 1000 bits and then we're going to move up to 10,000. I'm going to do that till I've probably got about 150 grand. Now, uh, you do meet the character Marco again later on at a different place. However, this glitch does not transfer over. You can only get this one you can find him in Rockland. And now we'll take a look at the speed it does at 10,000 bits. You do get uh, a couple of opportunities to come back here by storyline. Um, I just really, really want the upgrades available first before I, uh, I try the suicide run with uh, Seven Ted. And uh, if I can, there's some monsters that I want to try and farm on the way. They drop um, a water rune piece, which is a, a bit that you can have a blacksmith attached to your weapon. And for every piece that you attach, you regain 5 HP per round of combat. And that can take a lot of stress off your healers. They can be found on Mount Tiger Wolf, which is where we have to get over to get up to uh, the village of, uh, I think it's Saradi. I don't think I'll get up to uh, 150 grand. I'll just do another round of six, which will put me up to 100 grand. That will be plenty for what I need right now, and I can always do this again when I come back. So I've got to come back here at least twice by storyline, and I get the option to come back again uh, on my way elsewhere. Two for the left, so this next one will be on the right. And next one will be on the left again. Thank you. 
two more on the right and then we will move on and we will go down to uh, the town of Lenincamp. going to be checking the shops here um, even though it might not be anything uh, immediately useful uh, later on you can get your own shops and the contents of those shops is based on everything that you have seen in shops elsewhere so you've got to make sure to go into every shop and interact with the shopkeepers And now I can show you off uh, the actual combat. Uh, these are the absolute basic of the basic monsters of the game. They're the weakest monsters in the game. And I can just free will this and uh, everybody in the party who is able to will just perform a melee attack. Or the standard uh, physical attack. It's, um, quite a lot of magic based in this game but we will go into that later when it's actually available like how you get it how you use it that kind of thing we will go into that when we can a medicine on each of my characters because otherwise they won't make it to the end. And here is Lenacal. So the first thing we're going to do is go straight up to the end. Oh, 
rested, we will be saving our game here. Basically the way um, weapon upgrades work in this game, you don't find new weapons, you take your weapon to the blacksmith and they will sharpen them. Basically on this screen here, the uh, numbers underneath the name, uh, the first one is the level and the second is the attack power of the weapon. started at 5 or 7, up to 20, which is a big increase in the attack power. Right. Uh, we'll check in the item store. here. The last place to check is the armor store. Okay, now we are as geared up as we can get. We are going to try the suicide run. Uh, this may go belly up very quickly. But there's, um, there's a fair chance it will. But if it does, all that happens is I will um, respawn back at the end at my last save. So we are on Mount Tiger Wolf. There is a treasure chest that I want to collect as we go over here, but I'm not going to collect all of them, and uh, absolutely not. I'm not going to collect all of them because that will just fill up my inventory. Um, and I'll be coming back here with multiple characters shortly. Well, shortly. Uh, two or three storyline missions time. Let's see if we can take a snail. I wasn't going to try and take both of them because they hit like trucks. But it looks like I can at least take one of them out. And it gave me about half a level's worth of experience. The way uh, level ups work on this is um, kind of similar to Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, every thousand you uh, gain another level. And... Um, the higher the level, the smaller the percentage of experience you get per fight. But it is uh, party shared. And the monsters that I really want to uh, run into around here are kind of like slime men. These guys, these are the ones I want to find. Hopefully I can take three of them. They hit hard. Very hard. Huh. This might not go my way. 
and this is not going to go my way. too strong for level 7 characters, but they are level 10 monsters, I think. I just hope I can just uh, live with the let go all the way through, but we will try and take the snail out again. See what I mean about hitting light trucks? And that's uh, both characters levelled up again. Unfortunately this inn is not currently open. rather than giving me 500 experience like the last one that I bought did, uh, it only gave me 190 experience points for the fight. I think that might be the chest I'm looking for. I'm looking for an item called a clone crystal. Um, the way magic acquisition works in this game is you find um, crystals that are attached to um, a certain skill or elements like a fire crystal, that kind of thing, water crystal, wind crystal. Um, you can attach those and you gain, that's the one I wanted, you gain um, elemental spells uh, with the corresponding element. There are others, uh, like the one I've just picked up, which will do sort of like a, an automatic three times critical or something along those lines. And that clone crystal is one of those. Um, it does, um, I think, three times attack, but uh, means they lose the next turn. So it's kind of a trade-off. And uh, where's the guy I want to go see? I think it's this guy in here. The Prosperity Crystal, uh, what that does is uh, doubles the amount of bits that you get per fight. <clears throat> if we'd have come up here with just the main character without Ted, then we would have got, uh, I think it's the Champion's Crystal. We will be buying one of these, a Water Crystal, that will grant healing magic. And Ted can keep all the bit for now. stay at the inn before we go back. Okay, and away we go.
think the uh, the next time we come over this uh, mountain, we do have uh, five players, which makes it a lot easier. And I really hope I can run away from these. Yes, I can. Um, I've got five characters, which makes it a lot easier, as I will have all of their weapons upgraded. Some of them will have magic. And it will make farming the water with pieces rather easy. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to kill this one. And here we go again, two snails, let's hope we can run away. Nailed it. I'll be a lot less inclined to run away next time. When uh, I'm suitably leveled and I'm suitably geared. Right, so for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way back to Great Minster, the capital where we started. Next. And uh, that will be where I will be ending the first video. So uh, it's been going on for about 45 minutes. The next one will be a little longer. Um, but while I was off screen, it actually took me close to about 35 minutes to do the grinding to uh, get up to the level that uh, I could walk around freely. Um, I know the time on the save file doesn't reflect that, but I did die half a dozen times. I actually wiped four times before I even managed to hit my first enemy because they were too powerful and too fast. And designed to be taken down by a party of five and not two. Okay, so we're going to stay. save okay and that is where we are going to leave part one of Sukaden. i will be back next time uh please like and uh like the video and subscribe if you've liked the content and i will make sure more of it comes your way but for now thank you very much for your time and i'll see you again soon